Here's a question from a lady who says she's a clinical nurse specialist in diabetes and works with hundreds of people with diabetes per year. Uh, I would love to advocate for a low carbohydrate diet, but I'm concerned that eating very limited amounts of carbohydrate will result in a diminished hepatic reserve of glucose stores. That's not enough glucose in the liver. Surely type one diabetics need to have as much glucose stored in their liver as possible in the event of major hypo, which is less likely to happen with smaller doses of insulin for sure. Uh, that, she's referring to my regimen where we use small doses of insulin. This is the main reason why I do not eat low carbohydrate. Is this line of thinking reasonable? Uh, certainly very unreasonable. There's a limit to the amount of glycogen, which is the form of glucose that's stored in the liver and muscles. There's a limit to the amount that the body can hold. That limit uh, for a typical adult is about 300 grams. And just adding carbohydrate upon carbohydrate is not going to increase that. The added carbohydrate will actually be converted to, to fat and will not help treat hypoglycemia. Uh, the way to uh, build glycogen stores to the maximum normal level is just 24 hours of normal blood sugars. Uh, and by the way, you can have that 24 hours without any carbohydrate in the diet. It could be all protein. The body will convert protein to glucose as needed in order to maintain blood sugar and stay alive. So our ancestors who had no access to um, high carbohydrate foods uh, ate mostly flesh and converted the protein uh, to glucose, which got scored as stored as glycogen. That's it, plain and simple.